Hello and welcome to the Code Maven channel. My name is Gabor Sabu, and in this uh, series of videos, we are going to uh, work uh, on a project with Yvette Erdel. Hi, Yvette. Hello. Um, so just follow the channel, like the video, whatever, and uh, let's get started with, with, with Yvette. Please introduce yourself and then talk a little bit about the project that we are going to do um, in these uh, videos and live development and learning, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm Yvette. Uh, I'm an engineering manager, uh, currently working at Contentful. Uh, and I also did a couple of talks in different conferences and I have a workshop Lean Poker that is designed uh, for practices, lean practices um, uh, for engineers. So if you if you want to get better at uh, using continuous deployment uh, and lean in general, then it's a good starting point. And today I brought a project uh, that was um, suggested by one of my friends who is doing uh, self knowledge workshops. So the idea is that there are a couple of cards that you can choose from. This actually used to be an actual card game where you have printed cards and okay. people can just draw a card. It has a question on it and they can answer the question. And then uh, this goes round and round. And there are a couple of modifiers like uh, someone may ask for an extra five minutes. So in general, you would have five minutes to answer your card. But if you feel like this question is important for you, then you can use your one time uh, extra, extra five minutes card and then you get 10 minutes. Or you can use another card which says, uh, I want someone else to answer this card and you can pass on the question with okay. this card to someone else. So basically so these are the main features. It's a little bit like in, in a way I have like, I understand a lot of features like Uno or whatever it's in different card games, the same name that we can change the direction and um, yeah, that's uh, so there are that's cards like this. in a way, yeah, but but it's it's actually based on a on another SAP knowledge game called Identity. It's a, a variation on that game, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's the version that we are going to do is is going to be designed for transgender people for yeah. uh, their self knowledge. Uh, I actually have the questions already that we are going to, at some point, uh, add to the whole thing. But the way it's going to be set up is that we will have an open source core mm -hmm. that anyone can uh, install for their own purposes. And then we will have the questions, which is going to be a large JSON file or some kind of database. We'll see what we go with, but it will be a static content that gets loaded into the application. And then if someone wants to create the same game for some other group of people uh, who, who would like to, uh, you know, practice uh, some self uh, exp ex um, exploration, mm -hmm. then, then it will be uh, openly available. Okay. Core. What, uh, so the, 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 the set of questions or whatever for transgender people is going to be private, right? The, the yeah, that's I that's the part that we. Okay. Well, it's not really private because it's going to be an openly available uh, thing. It's just that this particular application will. Uh, so the the questions are not going to be part of our main repo, right? Yeah. Okay. Because we want that to be reused for other purposes. If someone has a similar idea for uh, a similar game, then they can just clone the repo, deploy their own version and add yeah. their own questions. I guess we can, we can, I don't know, how did you plan it, but we can have a set of questions for some arbitrary thing, which has maybe just a made up uh, thing, just so we have an example. Uh, in, and I probably will also have it needed for the tests when we are writing tests. So we'll have- yeah, we'll Eventually we will have to, yeah. We'll, we'll have to make up some, uh, some questions uh, that are probably, are going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And at, at first, I, I guess we are going to hard code uh, the questions into our uh, JavaScript, right? And then at some point, we are going to extract that into some external source. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Let's see. 
Okay, so what I already did, uh, I'm going to share my screen because I already, no, I'm going to share the entire desktop so that we see the pop-ups as well. What I did so far uh, as preparation is I created a new React JS project, right? Uh, and actually, I'm going to also... Uh, Can you alarm the fonts a little bit, please? Yeah, uh, sure. Um, let me see. I am, so I am just so the background for me. I knew I know a little bit of Node.js, not much, and I know nothing basically about React. Okay, I had a video with someone where we wrote some tests uh, to React, but I hardly understood anything about the React part. Okay, so mm -hmm. I will okay. have a lot of questions. Okay, and, <laughs> yeah, uh, we can we can um, and obviously we're going to. Um, have to search for things. Obviously, because a little background on myself, I haven't been coding for at least half a year. <laughs> Before that, I was a frequent, or I was a, an individual, individual contributor. But ever since I made the move into engineering management, I don't have to code anymore. So yeah, my, my coding skills are always a bit rusty. But let's see what we can, you know, uh, neither of us are, are React.js experts. So the people watching the show will <laughs> probably laugh at some points and we will probably get a lot of good advice after the, after the video is published. <laughs> um, I'm fine. I have another series that we are doing and uh, we get actually uh, people recommending us all kinds of interesting ways how to improve our code. Mm. And, okay. uh, so it's nice. Uh, okay. And sometimes people join and help us during the videos. So that's also good. So for now, this is all we have. Standard React.js application. How, how, did you start, how did you get started? Okay, please just uh, share. With yeah, it, it, I... when, when you, you can actually create a React.js uh, application with IntelliJ. And if you do that, then IntelliJ sets up everything for you. And mm -hmm. I just have to press the button and it starts. So. Okay, so, so it's not. So it's not you didn't uh, create the skeleton <clears throat> with a command line tool. It's yeah, it's not even a command line tool. It's built into IntelliJ. Okay. I think it uses a command line tool provided by React.js in the background. But when yeah. when you create a new React.js project, this is what you get, and you actually have all the files here. So you already have an app.js and they. Uh, like the whole thing is set up essentially, okay. Okay. which is nice. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what we have here is basically a very simple page uh, with a link, uh, learn React, which I actually going to open because it might come in handy later. And, and then we can just delete the whole thing here. We don't need that, right? So if I understand correctly, basically you have a, a Node.js web server running here. So Node.js based mm. web server, and mm -hmm. that's serving the, the React pages. Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and, and what's even nicer is whenever I modify something and save, it automatically uh, recompiles and reloads. So okay. we already have the new version here. So when actually, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh put these two things next to each other up next to each other on the same uh page and then you can actually see that as i write something here and save then it recombines and shows up there and uh, did it already load it or uh, the re refresh the page or you had to press refresh in the web browser? No, no, I, I just delete here, it, save, it, it also and it automatically the reloads. Okay. Which is really nice because that makes it really easy to uh, move along. And actually I'm going to just leave it here for now. Okay. Uh, it's like, you know, a good starting point to, to see whatever we are doing. So. <clears throat> Uh, we are going to do here something like uh, a name for the application. This could be um, self-knowledge. 
and, and how are we going to do this in English, by the way, or in Hungarian? The, 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 uh, the, the, the application will be used by a Hungarian uh, group, and so the questions are going to be Hungarian. But for now, mm -hmm. let's work with English so that our viewers understand everything. Okay. And later, I will localize. <laughs> Yeah, it could also, I think it will be an interesting uh, part also how to localize. Uh, yeah, and I think we should eventually do the localization together. Okay. But for now, let's let's just have it there. And I will be very messy here. I'm not going to start by writing tests, not at this stage. Okay. Because for now, I, I want to find out how how this will, you know, start out and... and uh, because I don't have much experience with uh, React.js either. So let's first figure out how it would work and then uh, we can later stabilize. Um, and okay. when we have more complex features coming up, we can still start testing. Okay. So to begin with, I think I'm gonna start with creating uh, like a, an array of questions or, or I'm gonna call it the card deck. Is uh, this is going to be our cards, right? So uh, th th this is basically here written in JavaScript, right? Yeah, that, so that's, that's JavaScript, and well, it's actually Java JSX. Uh, the thing about JSX is that it has this special syntax for returning uh, components. So this is looks like HTML, but in the background, it's actually a document create tag div and then adding a bunch of features so this is this is actually uh, being compiled into javascript yeah so the, the thing is that that it's it, it's not in a in a in a string right the whole thing is not in a string mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's not a string it's it's a jsx okay yeah okay and right. by the way, just to, to, to uh, clarify, the guests can type in the chat and they are welcome to, to type in the chat and we'll see that. I'll just open the chat for myself as well. Um, and uh, then we can, uh, they just can't share their screen and talk or whatever. But you're welcome to ask questions. Cool. The, uh, so then yes. we can... We can start uh, with by adding some so, questions. So, sorry, wait, wait a second. Uh, the, the the thing, the reason I asked if it's JavaScript is because the, you the, it's importing a CSS file or at least something that's called the .css. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, and it's really, actually uh, uh, that is CSS. Uh, CSS. It's just uh, I, well, I don't know exactly how it works in React because, as I said, I'm not ex an expert. But it's it's kind of nice that you can import uh, CSS. You can import like you can also import uh, SVGs and and oh, yeah. just include that. And actually, I, I I forgot to remove that, so let's do that now. Okay. All right. So. Okay, so now let's add some questions. So. Mm, uh, what is your biggest dream? Could be one question. And uh, and these are just questions, and then people are supposed to discuss this, right? Or not mm -hmm. discuss, answer somehow. So how would that work in a in an online world? World, sorry. So the. <laughs> The concept is that people are going to use this application um, along with Zoom. So what they would do is open up, uh, everyone opens up their uh, browser and put Zoom next to it. And then you can discuss the questions and everyone will okay. be able to. And, and it, for now, actually, what the first version, uh, what I thought what would be nice, is that the first version won't even have that feature. For the first version, we are just going to allow someone to share their screen and everything will happen on one single machine and all the players are, are going to be set up here. And that one person will actually have to uh, set up everything and people will just say, draw a card for me. And then they will draw uh, the the person who has this application open will draw the card. So at first, we are not going to implement the whole uh, messaging between different browsers in the same session. 
Okay. You will just have this uh, single page application, that's it. And then the next iteration could have this feature of synchronizing between browsers. But essentially, they are going to discuss things uh, in, in a Zoom meeting. Yeah. OK. <clears throat> so are now we have two questions. Right? That's enough for now, I guess. Yeah. And just to just to make sure that this works, I'm going to interpolate a card deck zero uh, in here and see if that works. Yeah, it, it does work. Okay. We have have it there. Uh, as for the design, I'm gonna, not gonna worry about that for now. And then what I could also do is I can add an input button here, maybe, maybe use button instead. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, oh, what, what is it? It's a uh, text maybe or value. Yeah, it's probably value. Uh, draw card. Ooh, okay. So that's not how I should do it. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because hmm, it's it should be a string, not a, an interpolation, right? No, it doesn't work. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so that's when I should start. Or maybe it's like this. Sorry. And React yes. I'm searching for it in the meantime. Okay, please. It's, maybe, maybe. Uh, it just says uh, button, button. So it's an opening and a closing part. Yeah. Uh, the mm -hmm. slash. Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. And, and then right. you can you can you can have on click equal to something as an attribute. Okay. Great. So now we have our first card. Uh, and now what we could do is implement this draw card. And the way it works with, uh, so for now we are just using one component and at some point we are going to pull out components here. Uh, but for now, everything is part of the app component. And what we could do is we can create a, an arrow function here. It's going to be conch. Uh, and I'm actually going to, okay, so this is draw a card. A card. This is our function here. And yeah, and what I'm, what I'm going to do is I am going to try. Oh, sorry, I, I have to move this. Okay, so. Go. Wait, why can't I? Oh yeah, so in code and then reformat code is, okay. Option command L, it's been a while. <laughs> okay, so now I have, I have this uh, formatted. And now what we can do, uh -huh. yeah, so I should actually have a state here and, Ooh. Yeah, uh, the way we do that. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to move this into a separate window. What are you trying to do? Uh, yeah, well, well uh, I just want to make sure that I can search for things and... Uh, for I can search for you, if, <laughs> but then people won't see it. So it's maybe better yeah. than you search. Yeah, that's, that's why I want to make sure that... Um, I'm going to move this single window out of this, or this single tab out, and then I can put this back next to the to the Intel J, so that we still have that nice feature there. Let me see uh, the result, and then I'm going to use the other browser window. Uh, let me see. Yep. No. Yeah, this one. I actually have a React cheat sheet here, uh, which is really useful. And what can you share me the link? Share, share the link, please. Put the yeah. in the chat. Sure, sure. Um, so chat is here. So that is our our okay, uh, React cheat sheet. Mm -hmm. And what we need are states because. Um, 
we want to somehow store uh, which is the current card and also uh, be able to modify the current card, right? So one way to do that is to, but this is actually using the, the class-based version. I wonder if there is a, if there is a, a React.js uh, for React. Yeah, it's, it's, it's using, so in, in React, you have two options. You can either use uh, functions as uh, components or you can use classes. And this actually uses the, the class-based syntax. Mm -hmm. And I want to stick with, um, uh, I should put this next to each other. Yeah, so I, I, I want to use the other syntax and and for that we actually need state maybe yeah okay so this is this is what i'm looking for um so we are going to import use state uh, and then what we can do is we can define a state here um and it works like this we have uh -huh, you state and then you can pass in a default value okay so what we do is sorry it's const hmm so const um and then we have uh two things like the current card card and set current card we are going to use state and it's going to be an empty string to uh, start off and then draw a card is going to um so what is this this in the, in the square brackets this is an array right or just for the definition to you want to define it, two it, things. It, what it does is it decomposes the because you state returns an array and then this syntax is going to decompose that array into two variables so this thing is going to return uh, an array of two values and then the, what the first one will go to the first and the second and the second right exactly okay so this is this is just decomposition uh and now and why, is it, why is it returning an array of two elements in its state? Uh, because this is the actual state and this is the function that sets that state. And the reason okay. uh, we do it like this is because the set current card, uh, that's also going to re-render the page. And that's the that's nice part about it, that you, you end up with, uh, you, by calling set current card, uh mm -hmm. and saying current card here and then what i can also yeah so oops what happened okay so now i have a simple function here right and then i i can just do on click and draw card So the, uh, and why do, why not the set current card? Why not call the set current card there? Why why do why do we need the extra function? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, we can do other things because, there, I guess. Yeah, because I want to add logic here mm -hmm. later on. For now, it would be possible. Although, yeah, we could we could inline this for now. In in theory, I can just do inline and and that's it. What did you I, say? What did you just do? Uh, I used uh, the inline refactoring in in in, in not, uh, IntelliJ. Okay. okay. So it it basically the way it works is you uh, put your cursor on the function name, command shift n. No, sorry, command option n. No. Uh, uh, there's a vector. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, con command option n. 
and then it asks you if you want to uh yeah if you want to inline all references and if yes then you do refactor and and all it did is we moved move that function yeah, right exactly. here yeah okay it's it's a really handy thing um yeah and and this actually gets an event uh so we could use that event object but for now we don't need it so i'm not going to take it as a, a, a variable so now actually when when we have this here yeah and and then instead of instead of having this card tag zero here i can say uh current card and now it's empty and when i click the button then nothing happens that okay so it's there see it so, says it's, it gives current card yeah it just right. just adds current card yeah i guess we need uh, i don't know we could, we could return the first one or or a random one or whatever you yeah that's that something. that would be the next step and and uh and the question is how can we uh what's the easiest way to get a random item from an array does uh does javascript have a way to do that easily uh okay my browser just froze well, let me try uh... are you there okay mm, yeah actually now everything froze on my machine <laughs> that's not good yeah uh so there is uh it's just mass floor whatever okay uh, so that's the best way okay uh, well so, that's, that's what that's what i found i put it in the in the okay. chat this is what i found in the, in a stack overflow question all right with oh, millions, wow. millions of upvotes <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I mean, sometimes uh, JavaScript doesn't have the things that you would expect it to have. So how about we, how about we fix this? Uh, I'm going to move this out into a uh, separate, um, into some, some separate uh, file eventually. But for now, uh, I'm just gonna say uh, pick. And pick is going to be a function and it's going to say this uh math floor uh math uh, random times uh this dot length length right it's length yeah length yeah and then uh and then i'm gonna return it and okay. yay we have a big function okay <laughs> so now now we can say and actually now our code became really simple because now i can say card stack pick oh come on okay so now if you click on the on the, on the draw card it will just give you a, one of the cards and then if you click then it will yeah at least i thought but right now it's it is not, not a function. function yeah because because i actually screwed up um i have to add this function to the prototype okay mm, oops okay length is undefined um is it length isn't it well that's what uh uh that's what this thing said the example but uh, mm. okay, so then how about we say console log um, this this yeah this yeah, and then we can figure out what's going on in the background. Well, I mean, you just a question: Do you don't uh, shouldn't put a semicolon after line seven on line seven at the end? Line seven, yeah, we should. We definitely should. Uh, okay, so although it's optional, but like yeah, I know, but it's like optional, and then JavaScript decides wherever it wants to put it, and sometimes incorrectly. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I know, I know, I know. Uh, okay, so let's see the console here. And now we actually have. Well, I, got, I can't uh, really see that. Uh, type error, something. Yeah, it's some kind of type error. Uh, and it's undefined. It's undefined. This Why is, is it undefined? This is undefined. Why? Card deck is is a constant, which is an ar array. Hmm. Uh, do, do, you don't need to put this uh, before you create the constant. That's the prototype. Oh, that's, that's that's possible. Let's let's see if we can move this here, and and see what happens. Still not like, doesn't like us. Yep. Mm -hmm. So wait a second. It it says uh, it calls the pick, but the, yeah, it, it, does it call. doesn't pass in 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 the array itself. Ah, that's weird. So it knows that uh, that the card deck is an array, on and mm -hmm. the prototype because of the prototype it calls the pick method. Uh, but it, the, this is not the not the, the array. Uh, this is yeah. under, undefined. Let me see if I can um, hmm. monkey array Java maybe. Maybe we, we can figure this out. Add the sequence function to the array prototype, yes. And then, oh. You also need the semicolon on line eight now, but it's not that uh, super important, I guess. Probably that's not the problem on line yeah, eight. Yeah, probably not line eight, but yeah. uh, just notice. But that. it's actually, I so to, what happens here is that it, for some reason, they reassign self, this to self. That's just per programmers, I guess. Uh, Trying to fill it. Uh, um, I, uh, because in Perl, uh, this is called self. No, and no, Python, actually, Python the, as well, so. This is actually a, a, an old school way of solving a, a problem with this uh, in JavaScript, but I don't understand why we have uh, that problem. I see a different example, it, which, just does exactly what we did, more or less. Uh, mm -hmm. So this, uh, it, though it doesn't use the arrow notation of the fun functions. Oh, that's the problem. Function. Yeah, so, we have to use the uh, the other, uh, yeah. So so it, it, it uses function. And maybe yeah. that's, I don't know if. And, that, and that's, that's the problem. I'm going to explain in a second why. Yeah. OK. And actually, it works. See? Yeah, nice. Great. We we have our first feature. Mm -hmm. I guess that deserves some kind of a celebration. Okay, so I'll have a bottle of water. Is yeah, that, sure, sure. Does that count? Uh, <laughs> but I have been, been drinking it for the whole time already, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was more thinking of some kind of fireworks, but, you know. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. All right. So, so we have our first feature. We don't need the this console lock here anymore. Oh, come on. What have I done? Ah, uh, yeah. OK, so we can now pick cards, which is awesome. Now, how do we move on? So the next thing is probably going to be that we should move this array thingy out here, right? Because it's, it's really just. Uh, okay, okay. Just a second. Just a second. I'll still trying to figure out the use state thing. So the use state is a function of uh, of React. Yes. Yes. Yeah, actually, the thing is that uh, the IntelliJ is so nice that putting the the name of the variable, the, the parameter in front of it, but it's so confusing to me because now I think that you are actually passing in this word in the initial state, while you're in fact only passing in an empty string. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's IntelliJ. Uh, that's just IntelliJ trying to be helpful and confusing me now. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's okay. I get used to it. 
Mm. So you pass Actually, it. Uh, this is the one IntelliJ feature that is super cool for those people who like it and really annoying for someone who doesn't like it. And I'm one of those people who doesn't like it. So how about we, we just get rid of it? <laughs> you can turn it off if uh, that's... Yeah, so let's use preferences and then, ooh, where is it? Um, you can search so, for it. What is it called? Parameter something? Parameter... Uh, appearance code. Okay, you know what? Let's let's. I'm I'm gonna search for it later. Uh, let's not let's not uh, make people watch as I struggle finding it. So what what should be our next step? Um, we could do a couple of things. Uh, one is just moving out this array uh, because it's somewhat annoying here. Uh, I'm going to move this out for now to make more space for editing. Um, yeah, so so let's try to create some kind of an util.js here. Mm. Uh, actually, it's going to be- so I can, I'll, I'll can tell you it's called inlay, inlay hints. So it's setting preferences, uh -huh, so okay. settings for preferences, editor, and then inlay in editor. No, no. Just a sag. Okay. Mm. That's command comma. No, the. Yeah, command comma, but uh, for some reason that uh, the oh comma. Okay, I was trying to use a, a apostrophe. Okay. I inlay hints. Okay. Yeah. Show hints for. Uh, JavaScript and JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm going to uncheck all of those. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you don't like you don't like it anyway, which I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Okay. Now okay. it's gone. Okay. So uh, where was I? Yeah. So I wanted to Sorry. use this, move this function out. And maybe there is a move function here. Uh, to uh, array usuals and yeah, escalate as is. Okay, let's let's try new selected members move. Okay, so ah, uh, okay, so it, it cannot move uh, monkey patches. Too bad. Okay, yeah. I wonder, I wonder if I can import this. Why did you want to move it out? I mean, it's just ugly having it here. Yeah, but I don't know, whatever. I start okay. writing ugly all the time. And then when I, it's, it yeah. gets too ugly, then, then I'll start moving out. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, but I thought it was time to, to do some refactoring since we already have a feature. Yeah, uh, okay. okay, so you, you can do that. I mean, uh, yeah, but I'm not sure how I can I can how I can import a monkey patch. Uh, so how about we just leave it for now? I'm gonna look it up for next time, and then maybe we do this refactor later. Okay. Uh, so the next logical thing to do. Okay, so now we have the the most important feature with with the cards. So how about we create um, kind of a we should do something about this because for now, uh, my problem is that, uh, yeah, we could, we could actually add more, more stuff here. Okay, let's, let's first add users. So, uh, or maybe, maybe just do some formatting. Um, I'm gonna move this. Oh yeah, that's not what I wanted. I want to move this here. Okay. So uh, let's just create a card out of this just to make it look better. So instead of uh, a P, we are going to use a div. Uh, oh, and just to make it nicer. Yeah, just make it look nicer. And I'm going to 
uh, a, a class name. We should have a class name, uh, something like, um, I don't know. Card? Um, card, yeah, that makes that. Okay, that's that's ingenious. Why not call a card a card? <laughs> uh okay and um then we can move here yeah like there is a bunch of thing that we don't need uh we uh, we don't need the app logo we don't need that we don't need app header app link yep these are just the default i guess yeah and then we can say cart here uh, and it should actually be card here as well. Uh, and let's see if I say that this should have a bit of, I don't know, 300 pixels and a height of 200 pixels and save it. Does, does it work? Yeah, it does. Um, Maybe and some then, order. Yeah. Uh, it should be some kind of light gray. Mm. I don't know, dark gray is better. Yeah, uh, and one pixel. And actually, install it, right? So, yep. And we should have a border radius. Yeah, some uh, rounded corners. Because cards have rounded corners. Okay. Yeah, that, that's not enough. I want more. Yeah, that's 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 starting to look like. Okay, and then margin auto. Yep, and then, oh yeah, now we should put this in the middle vertically, and that's always a nightmare. So we have a card B, and that should be margin to two. Uh, maybe that works, no. Uh, okay, how do we... So we have a P inside there? In the card? Oh, we don't. Yeah, you're right, we don't. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, he doesn't know where, you, where to put the end. Now, yeah. now you have the hockey, yeah. Yeah. This is one of the things that I hate about these clever editors that yeah. I put the beginning and I'm then I the, okay whatever whatever so you wanted to is, align vertically right yeah and that, that's what that's what I'm not sure how to do just put the margin top whatever yeah but that that would make it fixed right and this might actually wrap so I don't know. Um, let me see if I can find uh, ESS uh, vertical align center. Yep. Mm. I, I always have this problem because it's it's not trivial. Uh, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's 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 how it's done. <sighs> come on. Yeah, you have a you need a come on, come on, CSS. Why can't you do this by default? Okay, or we can use Flexbox and just for content align items. Okay. Uh have to center vertically. So here we have this very simple trick. Uh, I'm just going to use the line item center. Just, okay, let's see if that works. 
And come here. Exactly. Nice. Nice. And I'm also going to use uh, a, um, like a padding inside, right? We should have a padding so that it's not touching too close. Okay. Margin. You can try to type in a long, a very long text, just some random text, and see what happens there. That's yeah. one of the questions. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking out how I could uh, make sure that we have some separation down there because I'm using margin out. Oh, and now if I use margin uh, the, below the below the card. Mm -hmm. So the, maybe the button should have a, a, a margin top, no? Okay, that works. Okay, that also works. Okay, so now we have a card. We can draw a card. Okay, and then, then we you, can... Uh, would you want to, to, to add the new card text, which is, let's say, just two ten ten sentences together? Just something very long. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be our favorite question. Yes. Okay. So that that looks awful. <laughs> uh, so how about we some, some uh, margins from pending from their sides, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, looks better. Uh, it's better. Okay. Uh, although it's weird because now it has become the the card actually became became uh, became larger, right? And that's uh, not one, that's not my intention. Uh, maybe then then do margin auto. Why did it become bigger? Hmm. I'm gonna use max width. Okay, mm -hmm. that works. And it should actually be a bit more. <laughs> yep, works for me. Okay. Okay, so we have the card. Uh, and now mm -hmm -hmm. we should somehow manage the users, right? Um, so what, what uh, it's, it's, it's going to be on a public site and then anyone can come and you would like to make sure that um, maybe separate set of people have separate sessions? Yeah, that's that's going to be one thing, but it's it's going to be a problem later mm -hmm. because right now, if you open up a separate browser window, it's going to be a separate session. So right, this this only starts becoming a problem when when we have multiple browsers and we have to synchronize between them. Uh, for for now, the next problem we actually have is tracking the the players. Uh, but before doing that, I actually going to move this out into, into a new, into a new um, component. Okay. Just, just to make sure that it, it looks nice. Uh, and, and so that we demonstrate how to use <laughs> Uh, components. So I'm just gonna create a React component. Maybe, yeah, it doesn't have a. a so I'm gonna create card JS. And card JS is going to be. Huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just have to say card function. No, oh, let me see how it's done. Yeah, function card. card. And uh, the card is going to be, yeah, I'm gonna return just this part of the code. Oh, sorry. Mm. Uh, just this here. 
I'm going to move this in here. And instead of current card, I'm going to use this props. Oh, wait, yeah, it's, it's, it's like this. We have to say uh, card text. And then I'm going to put it here. And now if I import card from card, uh, then I can, instead of this, I can say uh, card, uh, card, card, Actually, it's just text. Yep, I actually have to finish it off and does not contain default export. Uh, yeah, because I have to export default card here. And I should move the, make this simple text. It makes more sense that way. Uh, yep. And and that's it. Now we have two cards here. And now, yeah. <laughs> now we have the bo both do the same. And now I can just remove this one. Uh-huh. So you created a separate uh, card.js file? Mm -hmm. Right, and you're importing it. Yeah. So the card JS, what it does is is actually takes one uh, argument, mm -hmm. the text argument, and the arguments here are going to so whatever I write here as a as a property, okay. it's gonna show up as an argument here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I can just use that argument. And interpolate it here. Okay. And now uh, I can just write card text current card. And since our uh, on click event is using this set current card method to set the current card value, whenever it is set, this whole thing is going to re render automatically. So that's that's why it works. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so now we have this card component, which is really nice. And now I can actually do instead of dot card, I can actually use card simply. No, that doesn't work. Why? Mm. It's weird. I thought it was going to work because here we have that. Oh, maybe it's because, yeah, probably I'm going to, okay, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Okay, so uh, next step. Let's let's then create users because it makes sense to me uh, to have the users set up uh, as next. Uh, they would log yeah. in and. Uh, or, yeah. So no, actually, what I'm going to say for now is uh, let's have let's let's make it possible to add a user, which will have each user just have a name, and if they use uh, one of their special cards, right. So did they use the extra five uh, minutes card already or not? Okay. That, that, that's going to be, and, and for now we just add it here. We, we just have a nice little input field where, where you can specify the name. And then the next thing will, will be that whenever, then we will have some kind of a timer. And then when the timer is out, then we'll move to the next uh, player all, all the time. And that's it for now. Okay. So then let's let's just add one player for now. 
And for adding players, I'm going to create a new button. Um, which is going to be the add player button. Yay. Uh, yeah, that looks so full. With this, uh, so this should actually go somewhere else. Uh, how about we put this right at the top? Oh, come on. Shouldn't, shouldn't be that like a different page? They have add player? Yeah. I mean, the first, I mean, someone comes to the, comes to the game, uh, they'll see something like mm -hmm. welcome. Uh, then they have something like register or something, but mm -hmm. in our case, it's just add yourself as a player. And then once you're a player, then you start seeing the cards. Then you can start seeing the cards or... Yeah, we could do that. Uh, but for now, I, I would suggest we we start out like this and later uh, move it to a separate page because okay. routing is, is a little trickier. Uh, so I, I would want to do that later anyway. Okay. Mm. So for now, it's, it's just enough if we, we just put this into a div uh, and give it some margin. Uh, mm. Um, mm. Or, so why do you need to put uh, this, let's say, in curly braces? No, I, I didn't want to put that in curly braces. I just, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was an error on my part. And then we can use the management. Oh, OK. Uh, but I still have the same question. Why do you put me put the when you the current card in the in in the in the text? Why is it in curlies? Oh, because this this one is is not a string. It's it's a variable. It's a it's variable interpolation here. Okay. And this one is the actual string. That's okay. the difference. Okay. Okay. So now we can have a dot management to. Um, put the margin uh, around it. Yeah, okay. Just so that it's not sticking there. Okay, so now we have a, a button for adding the player. And now when someone presses that button, then we should somehow add a player and you know what i'm right now i feel like we should somehow split this view or or we should just have the players up there okay for now we are going to have it there so uh yes you need an I, input box right yeah we need an input box and uh well you know what first i'm first i'm just going to uh, add the input box here, not worrying about uh, anything. We can, you can just add uh, players one by one for now. Yeah. Um, and then, um, yeah, and how, how did we do that? Um, so the trick is that we somehow should, oh God. Yeah, how, how, how it's done. Um, let me see the, the cheat sheet. Maybe I can figure it out. Because now, now the trick is that we, we somehow need to make sure that the input field's value is available to us. Well, I guess it needs to get an ID, no? Yeah. Hmm. But what was the trick for doing this in React.js? It's been a while. Um, so I guess so it was something like you could say value. Uh, sorry. And actually, if I create a use, oops, use a, a new 
player name. It says this this uh, state value. And I think it was maybe possible to do it like this. And then and then 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 when I say let's just convolve uh, e is missing. Yeah. Just kind of I know I have my little contribution to the coding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so it was something like this. The only part where I'm not sure if I'm how we how we need to do that is let me see. Okay, so now if I write something here, oh then I can't write here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So can you why react? can't you write there? Sorry? Why can't you write there? Uh, that's that's the million dollar question that I don't know. <laughs> um actually there was a video I watched uh the other day about how to how to write React applications. So let, and, and I saw the trick there. Just let's look at my history. React, 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 React. Where was it? Mm. Ah, there it is. Okay. And somewhere there in this video, we had a trick for. Well, maybe we shouldn't share the video, though. Sorry? Probably it's better not to share the video because then some people will claim that or this video is infringing on their rights. Yeah. So okay. um, I, I already had this once and I don't want to get into that. OK. OK, then let's. I have I have a link here that okay. I just shared that maybe that can help or let's see mm -hmm. and that's from the react.js tutorial so mm -hmm. okay so this this state where you oh uh -huh. and handle change is going to uh huh. Okay. So if I do, if I do on change, uh, and I, I try to handle change is setting the state to the even target value. Okay. So I have B. And then I can say set new player name to e uh, target value. Okay. Okay, now it works. Now you can type in and it immediately updates the value, right? Yep, exactly. So when I press this button, then it will console log the new player name. Mm -hmm. And and where, where do you want to store that? So yeah. I guess you you wanna wanna at least in an, an array in the memory. Yeah. So now now it's it's we already have the controls right. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say const uh, players set player. And, and now I can use state uh, and it's empty string. And actually I forgot the semicolons all over. Yeah, I'm not paying attention, sorry. 
I'm responsible for the semicolons. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of missing semicolons. Okay, so now I can now I can uh, do I can extract this. Uh, and this is going to be add player. Yeah. And I'm also going to actually I can I can I leave it leave that here. It's it's not a problem. And now what I can do is I can say that whenever someone presses that player button, then I'm going to do set players. And it's going to be uh, a decomposition of the players array plus uh, the new player name. Yep, I hope that works. Okay. Um, Yeah, I'm going to also empty this one here. Okay. And now what I can do is I can uh, create a list of players here. So this is going to be the last name players. And here I'm going to do uh players dot uh, map oh yeah i think it's players dot map and then i have to let me let me use the cheat sheet because <laughs> this here the trick is that we want to where is my cheat sheet uh did I close it? No, it's here. Okay, so, so there is a trick for iterating through uh, an array. And I just want to find it. Yeah, here it is. So we can do items.map and then, okay, makes sense. So I can say items.map or players.map. And then for each player, I'm going to say P. And uh, yeah, I needed to create a function here. Sorry. Um, arrow function. Uh, oh, shit. What did I just do? <laughs> yeah, and then I have the player and player. Why? That's not working. Player is not defined. Uh, I have players. Oh, yeah, because it should actually be an empty array to begin with. Yeah, but that still doesn't work. Why? Okay, let's let's start over. Okay, so for now, this works. Uh, I should actually now if I say players dot map error function oops and uh, just return the player like this does it help? <laughs> yeah, because ah okay, that's why. Okay, 
All right. So now I, now I can add another player. And then if I say paragraph, oh, oh yeah, because I should actually have you need this. You put uh, something there, a list title, let's say. Or no, actually, I, I should put it inside here like this. And, and now I don't need this. Okay, so that's that's how but it's just not player to just a, I guess curries around it. Yep. Oh, I'm starting to understand this. Great. <laughs> and now I can add that we can add Gabor. Okay. So that okay. works. Okay, so the sec, I'm going to stand up because my legs are starting to hurt. <laughs> okay, now uh, you have a moving desk. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that's, that's really practical. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we, we, we can add players uh, and probably we should be also be able to remove players. And like one, one other thing that I kind of um, think is a problem is that if we actually look at we actually look at this console log and you actually see that it is complaining a lot. Um, and the reason is each child in a list should have a unique key prop. Because when, when we do uh, an iteration like this, then, um, then uh, React will complain if we don't have a key here. And one way what we could do now for now is just use index uh, from the map. That solves it for now. Mm, let me see. So let's, let's just reload the application for now. And now if I do this and this, then it works and we have no no complaining and the reason reason is us for the key is because this uh react is smart and if if only one item changes in the array it will only re-render that one item mm -hmm. and but to know which item is which it needs a key okay so that's that's the reason and and the other thing that i'm going to do is instead of just having new player name I'm going to go ahead and create, make this into, into an actual object so that later on we can add things to it, right? Because for now it's, uh, it's empty. So I'm gonna say name is new player name. And, and if I have that, then suddenly our application- uh, well, You are probably need to, do something with the map now, right? Yeah, because now it, it fails. Yeah, uh, should, the map. To say player.name in the huh? Exactly. Now, if I say that I have one player, another player. Good. Okay. Great. Uh, what's next? Uh, the next thing we want to do is each player should actually have an action card uh, or a, a number of action cards. And what we could do is for now, let's just have two specific cards. Uh, I don't want to make this very complicated for now. And I'm going to say that we have uh, plus five, Okay, so should we have uh, booleans for each kind of a, a special card, or maybe integers, or should we should we have? Oh no, that's what we are going to do. Uh, special cards, and it's going to be an array of special cards and uh, or action uh, you modifier. You probably want an, a number of them as well. So maybe you have the same card. Multiple yeah. times. So we have modifiers, and then one modifier would be uh, plus 
five minutes and we have everyone will have one for now yeah and we can have uh we can have a skip one and maybe we can have um give it to our move left move right or uh, or maybe maybe it's actually what well, what what this is this card is meant to force everyone to answer uh, the same question. So uh, distribute or the broadcast. Broadcast, yeah. So you can broadcast your question card. That's that's nice. Okay. Broadcast, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we have these little thingies here. And now what we can do is, is uh, we can start playing around by adding little icons for these. Uh, but you know what? For now, it feels really nasty to, to have everything here, right? Because um, now it's, this is becoming bigger. But you know what? For now, for, for now, I'm I'm gonna live with that. Um, and then we will refactor. <laughs> uh, oh, sh what's going on? Yeah. Okay. And so, what does this curly do now? Uh, it's just a function here. So, oh, we didn't didn't have it there earlier. Uh. No, okay. we didn't. I got, got got confused a bit now. What happened? Yeah, because because what we what you can do is so there is this shorthand notation where where you don't have a return, but you also don't have the curly braces. Ah, uh, okay. And and until now we were using that shorthand notation, and now now we we just move this out. Okay. So now we can actually say that. Um, and this is going to be like shorthand player dot um, plus five minutes. Modifier, no? Oh, yeah, you're right. Modifier. Five minutes. Uh, and if we have that, we are going to uh, return, um, I don't know, uh, is there an emoji for time? Sorry? Uh, I'm just looking for an em emoji for time. So let's say uh, time emoji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, clock face, perfect. The clock, we are going to use the clock face emoji for that. How do you do that? Just paste it in here. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, we have a problem here. Unexpected character. Uh, yeah, because I have to put that into <laughs> quotes. Ooh, it's a syntax error, unexpected character. So it looks like we can't use emojis that easy. Hmm, okay then. I'm just going to use plus five for now. And yeah, I probably we should later on find some nice emojis for, or some, some like nice graphics here. Yeah. And then we can do the same thing with, um, bum, 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 with the others, skip. And broadcast. For now, it's just boolean. So yeah, and, and probably will also want to reduce them by one when they use it. Yeah, that's next thing. <laughs> uh, and then we have uh, what was the last one? Broadcast. Broadcast. Yeah, and. And then actually we should we should actually create make these into 
uh, links, right? Or buttons. Even even better buttons, because buttons are cool. <laughs> but uh, but I okay. So you on the UI you will have the, the name of the person and the button to do one of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. As long as they have the the capability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would put in, put on uh, like uh, the text on the button could be. And then we don't need this. I would put in 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 the uh, the number of items we still have. But um, I mean, as long as you only think about one from each, then then it doesn't. Yeah, for sense. now let's think about one, and then later we can we can improve. And what I, what I want to do is you go here and say button. Uh, button should have a margin of five pixels minimum. Okay, looks much better. Okay, so yeah, so this is the point where I feel like it would make sense to to make the player a component too, because it's getting bigger, right? Mm -hmm. So by making this part component, oh, but how do do we do that? Um, Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking about how, how we are going to pass around messages and maybe maybe I'm going to delay moving this into a separate component <laughs> because it feels already a bit messy, but for now probably I'm just figuring out the interactions. It's easier to, to not do it just yet. Hmm. One thing I'm going to change is I'm going to move this in here so that when we don't have a certain uh, certain modifier, then it doesn't show up at all. Yeah, maybe we can also put a minus minus on the on the player modifier blue plus five minutes, no? Mm. What I I'm not sure. What, what 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 do you mean? To decrease the number when person clicks on that. Yeah yeah yeah. But that's that's the next step. I first just want okay, to make sure. Okay, then and then this would this would decrease when they display. Okay. Yeah. So did, what 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 I did is is when when we this uh, now change uh, this to zero. Oh, come then on. it should show up first of all, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So now if I say Gabor, then then it doesn't show up. Uh, uh, there is a zero. <laughs> yeah, a zero. Why? Why do we have a zero there? That's weird. Because the whole expression returns, and then there is a zero, and it's false, so it won't do the right side. But mm -hmm. okay. So then we actually have to do it like this. Or, uh, or, mm. or I can just say hydrogen zero. And then I can make it like this. Yep, that's it. So if it's well, now it returns an empty string. Well, it returns a false, but then React will interpret it as don't output anything. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now let's let's. Um... That looks hackish to me. <laughs> this. Why? Yeah, but the, the fact that okay, it's false, and so we don't dis so then we, we rely on that it don't it doesn't display anything. <laughs> what? Okay. It's meant to work like that. I'm not sure. Like, 
Yeah, I mean, okay. Whew. Okay, so da -da -da. next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to click one of these and make it disappear, right? So we can do on click. And it's going to be use plus five. Do we have to, do we need a function for each one, separate one? Can we pass a parameter there? We can do that. Um, the only problem with that, I reckon, is that if we do that, then they are going to do, do the same thing. And these are actually uh, very different behaviors here. Okay. So, so why, why is it? Because it's not implemented, so it doesn't like it. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it, it's not implemented. Okay, all right. So I also remove these quotes because we are not, we don't need them anymore because now we have it is in a button. Okay, and now, um, now my whole, okay, it's back. And now what I can do is, okay, so what we need to do is we somehow need to find out which player is this. And uh, and this is the point where we actually need to generate proper IDs because uh, other otherwise no because we are not deleting yet hmm okay and then we can just say index here uh, so I, what I'm gonna do is just make this into a function. And if it's a function, then I can pass in whatever I want. Instead of the event, I'm going to- Why do you, need a, why do you need a parameter there? I don't understand. Uh, uh, the index, so you will know what is the- Yeah. So I need player and index here. Uh, or actually just player. Because, but why is this saying, huh? Because now you're defining Q. Shouldn't it be a curly? Yeah, no. One, hmm. let me put it into curly. Maybe that helps. Curly is a nice. No. This cannot be called inside a callback. Because it is what, why? Uh-huh. Because when, when I do it like this, it works, right? Uh, no, uh, like, like this. No, <laughs> it doesn't work like this either. Uh, why did it work with on click here at player const use plus five? Use plus five. No, it's called, called okay with it. It just probably took some time to understand that you're uh, okay. But I actually need to pass in whatever I want instead of. But can't you just use this in there 
and and look up for what what kind of button is there and then have it in an attribute for the button uh, or it's not yeah a we, we, we could we could take the e event and sorry yeah sorry <laughs> no problem so, um we could take the event and console log it but like I won't, don't really want to use the event object here. It's, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, so if I click this, then we actually do have the click event here. And um, can we figure out target button? And then it has a parent, I would figure. Um, yeah, a parent node or parent element, and then we would have to find the parent element of that, and that's that's not that's not nice. I would no, rather. But, but why not just give an attribute to the button? Uh, oh, you mean an attribute here? Yeah. Ah, that that also works. Um, Although for me it seems easier to to just pass in the 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 player. So yeah, if, in, if you know how to do that, if you uh, what if I try this again? Because like it should work. And instead of this, we say player. Uh, shouldn't we write that the, the use plus five accepts a, a parameter in the definition of use plus five? It does accept one. No, it accepts one. Ex accepts. I don't understand why this doesn't work. Uh, React hook cannot be called inside callback. React. The React function component or a custom React hook function. Okay. No. Who is a fox? Only call hooks at the top level. But I don't get it because like if we if we look here, here we use the set new player name. and passed in an argument. It's the same thing, right? Or maybe I, I have well, to... We don't have a, the curly up there and it's on change. Do we have here on change? It's on click. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, can matter. Remove, yeah. That shouldn't matter, yeah. If I remove it like this, no. So what is the set player name? Can you show me the... How does that look like the, the set player name? The set player name is just this. Oh, because it's um it's a use that, that's also a hook. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it why why this doesn't work. And it has a different color too, so there must be a reason. Hmm. Uh, we are in an interpolation here. The yeah, whole we think it's an interpolation. Like the whole player, the whole row is an interpolation. In, yeah. in, uh, and above, not. Mm. 
Mm. I don't know if that makes a difference. Okay, so one option that we could do, because I feel like it might be because we are having this in here. Uh, so to fix this, uh huh. Okay, so let's do a refactor then. Um, uh, what what we could do is is like for now let's forget this. Uh, let's also forget this. And maybe the problem is like I'm not a React expert, but maybe the pro problem is that we are trying to do this inside this map. And to get rid of the map, what we could do is just make this thing and move it into its separate own components. So let's create a new player component. And if we have a new player component, um, uh, I didn't mean to switch out the sound. And um, export the code player. And then we have, um, pum, 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 pum. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is, uh, <laughs> sorry, um, yeah, so we have a player component here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing here, move it in here. Right, we don't need the key anymore because it's going to be outside and we need to take a player. Mm, yeah, that works. Um, it's probably not how it was intended to be used <laughs> because now we are actually passing in uh, the whole player object instead of uh, each field separately. But I'm also going to take. And you also need the index, huh? Do you uh, really need it? Uh, the, the index, yeah. Uh, hmm. Actually, we can we can make the player uh, contain an ID. Uh, it's probably going to be cleaner anyway. Okay. Uh, and uh, and then we have on um, use modifier. And it's going to be a function. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, on click and I'm sorry. And it's gonna call on use modifier. And it's going to uh, take a string, which is going to be the modifier name, or pass in a string, which is the modifier name and the player itself. And in this case, it's going to be plus five minutes. And now now I'm, I, I switched to using a single function. Uh, so that I don't have to pass in separate functions here, because now I can just say player and uh, on use modifier. And it should be Yeah, and also I'm gonna play, pass in the player. Okay, and I need a function.
Yeah, so, so now I can just pass these in here and, and we should import the player. Okay, so in theory, we already have this year, but right now, let me see. Yeah, it works. Uh, but right now we don't have a key and until now index was our key, but to make things nicer, I'm also going to randomly generate an ID here. So it's gonna be random. And do that, I'm going to say const random id equals math lore uh, math random times uh, boxing. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. No. Maxin is is there a maxin in oh uh, no it, 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 it is it's a you uh, is like a, a unique ideas mm. Mm. okay for now i'm just going to type in a really nice large number and then we can we can later find the maxin so i'm going to reload this time and You okay. could you, you could use a UUID if you if you would like. I can yeah, that's that's uh, even better. Put put in the put in the link the if you would like uh, there's a UID package do you want to uh, might want to use. Oh yeah, okay. But we have to install that, right? Yeah, well, I don't mm, know. Yeah, I mean packages and uh let's let's put it in here. Uh production no. Where are the packages? Uh, dependencies, maybe. Yeah, I think I guess so. UID. Why is it? yeah okay eight three two? If you're, it knows it. What? It knows it. It offered you the version number. Yeah, it did. Okay, and now we just have to install the packages, I guess. Uh, um, how do I do that? Mm. Uh, and uh, maybe let's let's just restart and hopefully that does the trick. Mm hmm okay uh, let me see if if i can use uh uid now how, how it's done uh it's just uid uh b4 okay let's see let's let's just see okay And just we should just generate an ID here. Okay, and actually what I'm going to do just to make sure that we actually generated that ID. Show it. For a second, I'm gonna show it, yeah. Oh wait what yeah okay 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 right because it, it's, it's a curly brace not uh all right it's there okay 
Okay. That, that's pretty nice. So now we have IDs for all of our pairs. And now when I click that button, okay, I'm, I'm just going to make this one for now. Um, oh, shit. all right. So now if I click this button, inspect, uh, in the console, we should see, oh yeah, yeah, we, we, we will add that in a second. Uh, we should see, ooh. Uh, use on use modifier is not a function because, ah. Uh, Use modifier, use modifier, and on use modifier. And then here, oh, I made a stupid typo here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, now it works. Okay. So we now actually get the name of the modifier and the actual player object. And now what, now what I could do is I could say, you know what, player dot, oh. Mm -hmm. So we actually have to use the same modifier name as the way you feel it here. I must make sure that it's the same. And then what we could do, yeah, one thing, key. I'm going to add the key here uh, to the player, yeah. OK, so now, now we at least got rid of that error message. Uh, yep. Uh, and what did I want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to decrease the value there, right? So I want uh, this plus five to disappear when I click on it. Yeah. So uh, what we need to do is uh, for player dot modifiers. And I'm going to use the modifier name and decrease it. And now if I click on this, it does nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. Why? Why is it ID? How does it know that it's the player? Oh, now it works. Sorry? Yeah, I'm not clear, not sure where, how, it, how does it know that this is the, the right player? Uh, yeah, so that's weird. Hmm. I mean, you click on the button, it has the, the object, but uh, oh, it has the ID and then based on the ID. Hmm. Actually, it's, it, all I did was passing the whole player object, which is, which is like this. Yeah, and it contains the ID. And then you decrease the... No, it's actually, I didn't even touch the ID. I just said dot modifiers, which is this, and then went in there and modified it. And I think the reason it doesn't work... Oh, yeah. Okay, I know why it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's logical. So the problem is this. Um, because I just went in there and modified uh the state without using the set state function uh it didn't re-render right 
Mm -hmm. and, and that is why it's important to use the set state function. So we actually have to generate a new array of players <laughs> in which this is the only, only player modified. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. A new array of players. Yeah. So, or yeah. So one way to do this is like this is this is really ugly. Uh, never do this because it's this is even what I'm going to do now. But <laughs> I should you have an, a, a, an object of players where the ID is the key. Uh, and all the rest yeah. of the information about the player is the value. Uh, that that could also be an option, um, and maybe that's easier to modify then. But so here's the thing: I, I just want to want to show you what what what's what's happening here. So what I did for for now is that I uh, did this player modifiers modifier name minus one, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to create Yvette here. And, and now if I press this, nothing happens. Uh, and the reason is that, um, so there, there is this player's array. And, uh, uh -huh, but this is a copy. So the thing is that we, we actually need to modify this set, this player's uh, state. And we are not allowed to directly modify this. Uh, we actually have to use the set players method to modify it. Mm -hmm. And I tried to circumvent this by, by just modifying the player and then setting the players, but that doesn't work either. So we actually have to be diligent about this. Um, so what we do is I'm going to say uh, we have here the players array. Uh, I'm going to map through it. Uh, players, I guess. I will have a P. And then uh, I'm going to do uh, if P equal you want to find the ID, right? I'm, I'm going to find the I. Uh, yeah, just it's player. players in 40, line 42. Sorry, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to use ID to match and um, if, and we need to return. So if uh, if it's equal, then I'm going to return a player uh, the the decomposed player, but I'm going to change player modifier. Uh, modifier name minus one. Mm. Oh God, this is so. It ugly. doesn't doesn't. It doesn't work. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't look good. Yeah. So what I want to change, of course, is just that modifiers object in there. So actually, I have to decompose the modifiers. Isn't it time to take a break? <laughs> yeah, a probably, probably. Okay. So you know what? Then let's let's leave it here. We we have this so far. Uh, we cannot make the thing disappear yet. So. Uh, Okay. It's 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 working. It's actually logging, and then next time we can continue from here and figure out how to how to make sure that that we can change that value to zero. Okay. Do you put it in a, in a Git repository already, so I can take a look at it and maybe understand parts that I haven't understood yet? 
Yeah, sure, sure. I'm, I'm just going to uh, make a comment and, and then push it to a public repo for you. Okay, and then send me the link. Okay, we don't, we don't have to do it now in the video. Uh, so I can include it also in the, in the, put it under the video so people will be able to see it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Um, and then I think uh, we can uh, stop now the recording and we'll, mm -hmm. after, the, uh, after the video, we decide on, on the next uh, time that we are meeting and, and continuing. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. how, to, how to continue this. So thank you, thank you very much for so far and thank everyone for watching. And now this is the time to like the video and follow the channel. Yeah, thank you. So I'm thanking and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.